This is a Richard Bad Catcha. Everybody's been asking him uh, what it looks like in a torque converter. Well, I'm not a torque converter ex expert, but I got friends uh, that are. So they sent me two converters that are cut that we can take apart and look at. So what we got here first is we've got a B85 4L60E light, light model. It's, it's a little thicker converter. It's not the smallest one that's in the Trailblazers or anything like that, but it's in your normal pickup, Tahoe and stuff like that. So basically, this is what it looks like. Now this is a standard converter. It's not a billet back or anything like that. Now they come in here and cut the weld off. You can see it's, it spins. Now we're gonna come and take this apart. Now, when they do heavy duty applications, they'll come in here and uh, braze all these fins together. You can see all the work that's been done in here. Now that makes it a heavy duty. I believe the non-heavy duty, all that isn't happening. I'm not for sure, I'm not an expert on this. Now this is your stator, what we call stator. Now this will have a sprag in it. It'll spin one way and lock the other, just like in your 4L60Es, same type of sprag. Now when we have a race car style, uh, they could add less fins, more fins, lay them over, stand them up, uh, depending what type of applications uh, they're, they're building a converter for. So if you have a bolt together converter like some of us uh, race car guys do, this is what they're changing on the inside. They'll have four or five of these sitting over there. If they go different tracks, they can take the torque converter apart and put it back together and change that. So. Now you remember, this is a lockup torque converter. Now if you got come here, you can see this area right here is where your lockup seal will run. If you come over here, Trent, let me show here. This is your lockup seal. So if you come over here and you grab this like this, this is gonna come over here and go on here just like this. And it's gonna go on that seal. Now you have another seal right here that seals it to the body. Come over here. Now if you look here, this seal seals it right here to the back pit, the piston that applies the clutch. There's an O-ring right here. Now these are torque converters have always amazed me. But without this torque converter, you could not come to a stop uh, with the motor running in a vehicle. So it has to have this. Now we're gonna get over here. We're gonna pull this uh, piston out that's got the dampening springs in it. Uh, this keeps all the harmonics from the motor coming through the tranny so you don't feel the motor running or anything like that. Uh, you'll see these clutch springs also in a clutch, a standard vehicle when you let the clutch out, you'll, you'll see them springs in there like that. Now, if you come over on this side, here's your lockup clutch. If you look at the back body right here, you can see this is where your lockup clutch runs. Now, if you come in here, they've always say, if you run too long of a bolt back here to bolt your torque converter to the flywheel, you come in here and damage this right here, and you put a big dent right here. And now the clutch will rub right here, here, and here were all three of them two long bolts you put in there and put dents in here. Now you wear the, grind the clutch off of the plate right here. So that's why they say never put too long of a bolt right here because that's physically what you do. There's your lockup plate right there. They amaze me still amaze as me well. Too, Trina. Like I said, I'm not a torque converter guy, uh, but uh, being out torque converters, I want to thank them for sending me the the units so I could show you guys and stuff because uh, they're really good people. I've been using uh, Bill and them for 40 something years and uh, if I tell them uh, that I think they need to do something, they listen to me. If uh, they tell me I need to do something, I listen to them. So uh, we're both on the same page. Now what they also did, now this is out of a Dodge diesel. This is a triple disc converter. Uh, this is a, a lot, it's not a standard converter. It's got a billet backing on it. It's got three clutches in it. Uh, it's got a, a really nice uh, custom stator on the inside. So this is for a 5.9 Cummins. Get this apart. Gonna come here and look at all the fins and stuff too, how they braze everything together. 
Now you come in and look at this stator. Now this is a, a billet stator. This is a really nice CNC machine. Got a big steel brace on the back of it. Now this is probably a lower stall. The fins are stood up pretty high to grab a couple, a lot of fluid. Like I say, I'm not a converter guy, but they'll have a sprag in here too. Spin one way to lock the other. Mm -hmm. Now they do make spragless converters. My uh, torque converter in my turbo car is a spragless converter. It doesn't have a sprag in it. So totally different design. But this is a really nice uh, stator here. Okay, so we got all function bearings too, torqued and bearings too here. Come over here and look here how they brazed everything up really nice. This is amazing what this stuff looks like. Looks reminds me of a turbine in a jet engine or something, but I don't know how they physically work, but BNI was really nice enough to send us these to show you guys. Now if you look here, we have a lockup O-ring here. Kind of like our 4L60E, a little bit. Look at all this brazing. You're talking about taking some time. Or if a computer does, is that done by hand? I mean, it, I really don't know. Pretty, pretty impressive. Now this here has a seal down in here. If you look here, uh, let's come over here, Trent. I'll show them real quick. Now here's a 48RE tranny here. If you notice here, this it doesn't have an O-ring on the shaft like your 4L60E did. But there's a, a seal down in here that seals on the shaft. So when you stick this in here like this, Doing something wrong, Trent? I don't think so. I don't think so either. Let me go over here. Put it on this bill shaft. It went on? Yeah, it went on. Went right on. Seals just to the shaft. You can see that seal down in there, that little rubber seal. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of there i'm gonna have to look at that shaft and make sure that shaft is good so but here's your lockup o-ring there's a lockup seal down there and then we get in here now you remember this is a triple disc it's heavy this thing is heavy we got this big massive supply plate you've got your clutches here <laughs> wow. Now this clutch here is a single sided, the center one's a dual sided, and you have a clutch on the back. So you could almost call that four clutches. You got one, two, three, four. Yeah. But they call it a triple disc. So but also you look here, the outer one locks to the housing. The inner one locks to this piece. And then the outer, this one here locks back to the housing. Then you have a centering bushing here that keeps everything center. This thing's heavy, heavy right here. Yeah, let's mash your fingers. Mm-hmm. That's some cool stuff. That's some pretty neat stuff, guys. Hey, we want to thank B&I Torque Converters for uh, sending the converter so we can show you guys what they look like and stuff. If y'all need anything, give them a holler. B&I in Oklahoma, good bunch of guys over there. They ship daily to anywhere in the world. And you tell them what you want, they know what you're talking about. So give them a holler. We're B&I at the end Oklahoma. If y'all need anything, give us a holler Precision Transmissions. Don't forget to subscribe. Y'all have a wonderful day. Okay, guys, we got this back together, but I was really still wanted to figure out why this wouldn't go on there. And we went over back over here and it physically went on. So I don't know what I was doing wrong. So Trent went over here and slid this right on. And it goes right on again. So <laughs> I don't know what the heck. Well, that's good though. Yes. Yeah. But you do have a lockup seal here. Or O-ring. And then you physically have a lockup seal down in here that the input shaft slides on. It's right there on the end. Nice. Like that. 
tree instead of having it on the o on the shaft here as in an o-ring form so pretty neat pretty cool so, trent add that to our video check mate y'all have a great day